Hi, this is Guneet Monga Kapoor and you're watching me exclusively on Zoom. Hi, this is Samina Sheikh here on Zoom channel and with me today I have Guneet Monga Kapoor. So join me as I welcome her on Zoom channel. Thank you. Thank you Samina for having me here. First of all, lovely to have you and I could see that you're going for the kill for Gyara Gyara. <laughs> well said. Literally like the number game is also there and there is something else altogether and you're riding high on the success of both the things which you have come out with. Both yes, uh, it's been a great I would say last month. Um, very quickly Gyara Gyara has become uh, Z5's most watched show this year. Uh, highest Google show of Z5. It also today I think clocked 50 crore views. Uh, that was announced by the platform. So it's it's exciting that Gyara Gyara is you know really traveling far and wide on the platform and people are loving it. Um, and yes, coming off Kill, mm -hmm. uh, which of course has a piece of my heart. We tried to do something different uh, with Laksh Raghav and. Uh, to have a theatrical experience. Yeah, you know, something that uh, we went to uh, Toronto Film Festival with it and then to bring it here and to be accepted with so much love um, has been a definite career high, I would say. So I have yeah. to ask you this also, you know, Gareet ma'am, that it's inspired by a K-drama and Jee. it's Signal. What made you remade, a, you know, a series like that and K-drama we all like watch, you know, especially for rom-com. But this is completely, uh, say, a mysterious kind of a sci-fi film. You know, uh, when I saw the uh, original show, I really, really loved it. Uh, mm. And I internalized it by uh, thinking that police procedurals, you know, like uh, who done it, and police procedurals generally work very well. Mm. You know, there is a there is a bit of a mystery. There is a crime. You yeah. know, they generally absorb. They do really well on on TV, mm. and hence OTT. We've had years of watching uh, police procedural. What I loved about um, what we were able to do with Gyara Gyara is that it has a bit of a sci-fi. Mm. It has, we've upped the mystery thriller, technically it's a police procedure, yeah. but the, just the fact that we could add a little bit of tarka of uh, sci-fi, uh, I was like, this is what I want to do. Uh, and that's how, you know, uh, even for Dharma to come on board, Dharmatics to come on board, and for Sikhya Dharmatics to do uh, a series together on Z5, mm. I think uh, the, co the, the inherent um, nature of the show is very fascinating. And I think what Umesh Bisht has done with his uh, writing direction is phenomenal. Really been, you know, so this is a very grounded sci-fi. Mm -hmm. This is not uh, so crazy. It's just two broken walkie-talkies get connected over two timelines. So mm -hmm. uh, this is a very grounded sci-fi to be able to be mass consumed mm -hmm. on a platform which is so widespread like Z5. And just to, you know, sit on the other side of it now, because we are se so many how this will land, how it will be taken by the people, you know, is it too much, is it, you know, we are pushing the boundary or, you know, it's landing. Uh, now to sit on the other side of it, it's very, very rewarding that, you know, people really understood the little butterfly effect that we wanted to do. Mm. Uh, we and, and the beauty of this concept was um, police procedural with sci-fi making it one of a very exciting mystery thrillers. So that's exactly why we wanted to bring it to India and adapt it to India. But also, you know, as as we see in the series, you know, the way they are conne connecting, you know, on on that phone, and then you know, there's decoding of a lot of chapters and you know, invading so much about you know what's happened. That is very unique, you know, yeah. like revisiting the past and then connecting Ji. to the present. Yeah. That is something which we don't see. Like, yeah. what? How did you come up with a concept like that? So that's why. That's exactly why we took the remake. Yeah. You know, because the concept was so exciting, mm. uh, and then it was about making it, you know, India friendly, yeah. making it uh, for mass consumption. मतलब ये जो butterfly effect start हुआ between two timelines, वो इतना भी नहीं complicated होना चाहिए, and उसमें थोड़ा सा magic भी होना चाहिए. You know, that you take people into a bit of a elevated reality that hmm. uh, you believe in this world, you know. So to make it believable um, was the journey that I think uh, Sunjoy Pooja as writers and Umesh Bisht as the showrunner, writer, director have absolutely nailed it, you know. And uh, the performances uh, with all the, with Dhairya, Raghav, Kritika, you know, internalizing their roles, uh, 
आई कॉन्ट टेल यू हाउ मेनी पीपल हैव कॉल्ड मी एंड बी लाइक प्लीज बता दो इसके बाद क्या होता है यू नो इज दिस इज दिस रियल ओ नो यू नो सो एवरी क्लिफ हैंगर हैज लैंडेड लाइक द रियल फीडबैक फ्रॉम पीपल आई वॉज इन माई आई वॉज इन आई वॉज इन माई डेली हाउस विद माई इन लॉज and uh, my mother in law had her friend come over okay and i was not even part of their conversation and they both were talking and this is like our neighbor aunty hmm. telling my mom in law uh, ki aap guni se puch ke batao na aage kya hoga oh wow <laughs> so you know that's never happened in my life you know oh, to just yeah. hear these conversations yeah. it's so endearing yeah. uh, so i think that is the success of gara gara and especially jab pados wale kuch aur hi puchte hain normally hamara yeah. indian conversation ki hua kya she has the way she has described pados wali aunty her name is anita aunty yeah. how anita aunty has told my mom in law i wish i could record their conversation i was fascinated wow. i was like that is success You know. And again, like you have got Raghav, you know, on yeah. board, and you have worked with him in Kill. Yeah. After hundred actors, you know, he has got a role in <laughs> yeah. Kill, and finally he's got a role in Gyara Gyara. Yeah. So how come you took him, you know, to a journey of cop from, you know, literally a gunda dacoy to a cop literally? Uh, Raghav is one of the most brilliant actors of our times, mm-hmm. and uh, he t- he tested, he tested for uh, Kill, mm-hmm. and he won the part, um, and we've we've had. one of the most incredible journeys and a relationship that's built with raghav and i think when we were putting together gara gara uh, it was a call that i made ki let's work on this and he was too uh, emotionally entrenched in funny from uh, funny from kill yeah so it's like you have to do a cop you know so pehle ek do tests were just like i still have funny in me and i was like this is the other spectrum you know and then he nailed it mm. and uh, he's just He's phenomenal. I think he's uh, like he he really internalizes the character and really takes that time mm. to do it. He really lives with it, and it's very special to see his work uh, and then transform it on the screen. He's been very popular for his dance and his hosting and on TV, and uh, we we've seen that experience that. But uh, as an actor, he's one of the best in our times right now. It's. Mm. Um, it's something that we saw and it really like shined and uh, it did not come to us easily it did not come to us like it was it came to us with testing hundreds of people literally mm-hmm. hundred people and even for uh, gara gara you yeah. know we tested a lot of people till i went to him and i was like you know why don't you also do this um and uh, he did test for it and omesh sir you know was also like yes this is hmm. um you know it's always a journey yeah. for an because kya hota hai ki we write it uh, the teams write it and imagine it in a certain way mm-hmm. and then when an actor comes and makes it their own they give you so much to so much to think about mm. because now that character is shape shifting into another being and it's you know it's becoming um real and it's being internalized by another mind hmm. who does not नो no, कि हम पिछले एक साल से क्या सोच रहे थे छह महीने से जो लिख रहे हैं एक साल से जो लिख रहे हैं वेर इट इज सो राघव हैज दैट ब्यूटी ऑफ सरप्राइज डू यू ऑल्सो प्रिफर गोइंग बैक टू द पास्ट एंड यू नो रिकलेक्टिंग सम वी ऑलवेज डू दैट यू नो वी ट्राई टू रिकलेक्ट फॉर मेमोरीज बट समथिंग इफ यू ट्राई फॉर योर पास्ट यू नो री एंगेजिंग एंड ब्रिंगिंग इट टू द प्रेजेंट डू यू दैट आह बहुत ही टची इट्स अ वेरी टची क्वेश्चन बिकॉज वेर एवर आई एम इन माई लाइफ आई वुड जस्ट री ट्राई टू री लिव मोमेंट्स विद माई पेरेंट्स Mm-hmm. uh i uh, there is nothing else i want from the past i think i'm uh, uh grateful for the life i have had but very early in life because of that loss i feel if i can go back uh 20 years uh i would uh, relive those times to eternity yeah but as we also move to one very important topic which you have become a discussion for the entire nation is about you winning the oscars oh. <laughs> and bringing oscars to home and yes. how did you do that there's this one question which is that how to win an oscar oh how to win an oscar yes. just make the most honest version of your film mm. uh be true to the craft um You know, I I don't think we can ever construct something backwards. But not the whole studio, कर लेता ना, और ना हर filmmaker कर लेता. 
I don't think you can ever construct something for an award. We can only wake up and do our bit. We can only uh, do show up with honesty and integrity to a piece of cinema. Mm. Um, and Elephant Whispers has been a gift, has been a boom, uh, will always be a career high. Um, and more power to the director, Karthagi Gonzalez, whose first film went out there. And of course, both of us were on stage and won the Oscar. There is um, there's no rules to the game. It's more about making the most honest, pure version of a film, of a story you want to tell. Mm. And uh, send it out to festivals, send it out to Oscar qualifying festivals in US. Uh, if you win there, you get selected there, then you get shortlisted mm. in the documentary category, in the short documentary category where we won for period end of sentence in 2019 and Elephant Whisperers in 2023. So it starts with first of course making the film, uh, picking up the best advice, having mentors, getting the right edit, the music, apni uh, taraf se do your best mm. and then put it out in Oscar qualifying festivals um, in, in competition sections. And if it wins in one or two of those festivals, then you get qualified. Mm. You know, you're, uh, and then the process of voting happens there. Okay. You know, so you go from shortlist to nomination, mm. and it's a completely, uh, you know, uh, internal sect of people voting off that branch. Mm. So the academy has many voters and many branches. I am in the producing branch. But for this, the documentary branch votes. Okay. So internally, they individually, we all have a portal that we log into and you mm -hmm. watch it. It's not like there is a discussion, there is a conversation. So, sabse pehle, um, hundreds of films get, uh, you know, just qualified by the number of festivals, by the Oscar qualifying festivals. Okay. And then there is a list that comes, uh, which is the um, first round, okay. which mm -hmm. is um, the short list which mm. is 15 films. Mm. So if you make it to 15, top 15, top 15 to top 5 from shortlist to nomination mm. is an internal voting process. And then from nomination, the whole academy votes. Okay. Then the whole world, every department votes, mm. all the uh, members of the entire academy. Mm. It's very democratic. It's uh, fairly large. Uh, I would also say, please work with American distributors. Like in our case, we were with a studio that has uh, a great presence in US mm. and they brought in a lot of intel and years of uh, experience. Mm. So, you know, doing press there, putting yourself out there, working with the right partners. Um, it, it's, you know, I feel like if you do something right, then it kind of builds strength on its own. Yeah. You know, kuch aap shuru karo, apni niyat se and usse, uske baad you keep getting advised. That's true. Be open to it. Be um, open to absorbing that. But I, I would say to young filmmakers that learn about the Oscar qualifying film festivals and first apply to them. And if you win that, then the next steps will unfold in front of you. Mm. Yeah. But also, like as you said, you know, in recent one of your conversations, and correct me if you know if that's not your statement, but it came out that you know you somewhere feel that feature films are not featured much at Oscars, and also the marketing strategy, you know, in India to root for the movies is pretty, you know, it needs some work on that. Absolutely, I actually think um, for us to be able to win for an Indian feature, uh, the power of sending the right feature film is with the committee here mm. that gets formed here and and to be able to send that. Firstly, so I feel, firstly, I feel like India is a country of so many languages. It's very unfair on us to be able to only send one film, mm. you know, because we're so we're so many industries in yeah. India. Um, so, but if we have to send that one film, it really is a conversation of of art and distribution. Mm. So definitely a film that broke out at a festival. Definitely a film that found U.S. distribution, because at the at the core of it, mm. uh, U.S. may the promotion, marketing, and the campaign, mm. which is a lot of work, which is around three months of everyday work, from uh, the time of getting shortlisted. Mm. But usse pehle se wo kam shuru jata hai, and somebody who's capable of doing that is U.S. distributors, mm. because it is an award set there. Uh, they know the workings of it. So my request to the committee year on year, year on year is that if we really want to be able to have a chance mm. to win foreign language, 
we need to align with films and choose among films which have American distribution, mm. which have been distributed there by a studio, by a, a company that has the power to run a campaign and has done campaigns before. Yeah. Because that experience we can't build by going there suddenly and in two months. You know, and that's exactly why we've been falling between cracks. We are incredibly talented as a country. Mm. Uh, I do think that during Lunchbox, it was uh, opportunity lost because we had Sony Picture Classic there. Mm. Uh, there was Sony Picture Classic even on Lagan that actually did the whole campaign and got nominated. Mm. So it, there are so many layers to this just to get shortlisted, just to go from shortlisting to nomination yeah. um, is a whole... Uh, operations that yeah. works and that is something that a US distributor is very well equipped to give the film its best opportunity. So to all the press, to all the people invested in this year on year, uh, let's hope we are able to select films with US distribution. Uh, that knowledge is uh, passed on far and wide mm. and uh, even if nothing I know that that will be a great campaign. If we have to do that in five years, we will win. You know, because then there is a real uh, strength of... Uh, because there's a proper process. There's a proper process yeah. and every Indian film will then be given a uh, chance. chance and an opportunity. Mm -hmm. But first is breakout at a festival, then is finding distribution. Um, and then when you have American distribution, mm -hmm. then it is the Oscar um, awards. The awards that scene. reminds me that recently Zayed Khan, uh, during an interaction, said uh, that of late movies which are made are more for the viewership and data and not content driven. Do you also feel that? I don't know how to comment on that because if you see entire Sikhya's journey, mm -hmm. I mean we have only tried to do the most honest version of our films, of our careers which is from uh, I would say Z5 vs Tigers uh, mm -hmm. or uh, Lunchbox or a Masan or a Paglet or a Kathal or a or a gyara gyara or a kill. Mm. So uh, I try and stay away from um, um, any of the math. But for me as a producer, it is constantly being in service of the story. Mm. So that's what we do as producers. Uh, mm -hmm. Is the, the film, the story is beyond, above and beyond all of us. And if that is its best version and its most honest version, it's mm. going to find its audience and audience are going to come and lap it and make it its own. Mm. You know, and I've seen that over and over, over and over. You know, people kind of understand honesty, smell it, you know, and champion it on their own. It becomes a part of pop culture. But do you also feel, uh, Gunita, I have to like ask you this question that, uh, you know, at at, on one side, we often say that you know movies made in Hindi cinema or Indian cinema are often a remake of you know XYZ movies. But a film like Kill is going to be made in Hollywood, which is a different version altogether. And yes. I think, do you feel that the cinema of late, you know, why we say that you know there is a mix of different things, this is also happening. Like your movie, like you know, being remade in Hollywood. Do you feel that? there is some exposure to Indian cinema where people are getting attracted to. Absolutely. I just think we are incredibly talented as a nation with writers, directors. We are people who do globally, uh, like we do content of global scale. Yeah. You know, we of that value. Uh, so, but somewhere the distribution is disconnected. So that's when, you know, because Lionsgate came on Kill, which mm. is an American distributor, it really got its chance to be to be sampled by a lot of American filmmakers and that's when the John Wick team, Chad and the John Wick team was like, we want to bring this to uh, US. Mm -hmm. Even if there are more films, I don't know how they're watching them, right? So that is just so important, like to tie in the distribution mm -hmm. and that is exactly what I mean uh, because, because distribution there opens it up to outside the diaspora. Yeah. While our channels here are very equipped to reach out to the diaspora, our marketing, our channels, and for years of grooming the diaspora, That's true. to mm. get into the non-diaspora, you need distributors in US. Correct. And the minute you have that, that intel comes on board, that uh, exposure comes on board, and the filmmakers who have worked with that studio are also watching what they have picked up. Mm. They have a certain taste. 
so suddenly your film is elevated mm. so you 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 know you're in a different mix so i just think it's a matter of time mm. and definitely to be able to um, innovate distribution is the need of the hour mm. and last two questions to you one being since skill has made so much of noise altogether and you know even gyara gyara for that matter but off late if we also see you know movies like kill or animal are spoken highly of more so because of the violence in that do you feel that audience is liking the violent side of you know movies you know saying that um uh i mean kill i will i will i, I really got scared like watching that movie in theaters i'll be honest yeah and we said that it is india's most violent film in every marketing piece of it yeah we own that we never uh, it's like saying ki uh, horror film se dar lag gaya yeah. you know you all you know that it's a horror film yeah. you know that this is a violent film going in hmm. in every piece of our communication we said that this is india's most violent film we were not holding back hmm. uh it's a certain genre that genre is a certain craft yeah. it's like a piece of art we're so used to romcoms hmm. we are so used to um uh film types comedies now horror comedy yeah that uh, extreme action is a genre mm. extreme action where largely the film is extreme action which is kill and i will stick my answer to kill uh, mm. because it's a genre which has uh, which has been packaged in india also with a lot of drama mm. you know with like a song and a drama and you know many other things happening other yeah. politics happening kill was a pure bred genre film uh there are genre films like maybe train to busan and old boy um uh, uh john wick so those films are a certain genre we were attempting that genre yeah. so it was not in fact kill hates its violence if you if you see the film the the way the film is projected it is so beautifully done by nikhil bhat mm-hmm. uh it actually loves and hates its violence in its equal measures yeah. because you also have all the goons you also have uh you you're also feeling bad for everybody and you're also understanding they have the family they have their families yeah. you know you literally are in between feeling bad for the bad guys mm. you know and that is a journey that kill takes you on and that is why it broke out at toronto that is why it got its distribution that is why it was loved by people around the world so i would say that kill is a pure bred genre film and that genre committed action from day one mm. so you came into the theater knowing that you're seeing an action film you know and and the politics of kill is far more nuanced uh, and it allows people to experience the both sec- both 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 sp- the whole spectrum yeah. to the point like the last dialogue in the film is tum rakshak nahi rakshas ho yeah yes. you know so uh, and and in which film mm. you tell me will describe a hero journey like this you know so kill is kill is a film that really looks at action uh, the action is spectacular mm. uh, the jo- it's it's a take on a genre and uh, and it's violence it doesn't promote violence at all it it we we did not do any slow motion shots of you know glory flying blood we did not do any uh, you know you almost want to go away from and that is not promoting violence mm. so yeah and lastly as we talk about you getting married and you know <laughs> being blessed with a marital life Do you also feel that intelligent people find it difficult to find love easily in oh, today's oh, oh. world? Is that the case with you? Uh no, I found uh, my husband Sunny Kapoor on Hinge uh, mm-hmm. on a dating app. I okay. found him on a dating app. Uh and I think uh, it's a matter of time. Uh I actually um for a very long time I really really wanted to get married. I got married at 39 uh, mm-hmm. last year. um uh, and i'll only say that you know you actually find love when you truly love yourself i know this might sound cliche but uh, the universe gets ready in sending you the best version when you're really ready to accept it and it's some magic you know which is unexplainable mm-hmm. uh otherwise what are the odds to meet somebody who's based in chani chowk online on a dating app uh i just think it's the work that we need to do on ourselves and learn from our you know repeat experiences on what is it that we need to change internally and at some point of time it happens i and and i think if you're intelligent we can only go deeper and work more on our own selves mm. to be the best version of ourselves 
So yeah. And also that there is this one one picture of yours which has also gone viral for some very cute reasons, which is you know the animal pose, uh, the Bobby Dale one, where you both are like you know, <laughs> holding a whiskey on your hand, you know, head. If you could explain something about that. Oh, me and my father-in-law do that as a dance okay. much before the film came out. Okay. I'm doing it from childhood. It's Punjabi. It's called so being Punjabi. So now Punjabis. we know that yeah, like somewhere it's inspired by you. No, no, it's no? just every Punjabi shadi has it. But lovely chatting with Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank for you so time. much.